Greetings, it is Wednesday the 4th of April 2024 and there's a new release available of OpenSense version 24.1.5 It's a minor release but it addresses um, security fixes and a few feature enhancements So what does it include properly? Uh, the security update addresses minor bugs and potential vulnerabilities in the system, uh, interfaces, IPsec, Unbound, and other core components. They've also updated the Get Text library to ensure accurate um, text translations. They've improved the user experience. So in this update, they've introduced a new WireGuard peer configuration generator with QR code capability. So streamlining the process of adding new devices to your WireGuard network. They've also made improvements to the overall configuration and experience of WireGuard. Uh, on the MVC side of things, which is the user interface, they've added a safe filter for Falcon Vault templates, improved language handling within the views and extended model functionality to support volatile fields. So these changes make the development and customization of OpenSense much more easily in the future. So additional enhancements, include bug fixes in the firmware updates, unbound block lists, and more. Uh, the user interface improvements, such as new status LED formatter and a grid reload helper. Updates to several key ports, including curl, XBAT, light HTTP, light HTTPD, open SSH, open VPN, and PHP. So it's recommended that all OpenSense users update to 24.1.5 to benefit from these enhancements and security fixes. I'll leave the links below to where you can download the release notes and change log. And right now we're going to walk through and do the upgrade on a live system. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. So looking at this version that we're using at the moment, you can see that we're on 24.1.4 and we're going to go ahead and do the update to 24.1.5. So if we click um, check for updates. Okay, so 24.1.5. Good time of your day. Okay. Today the kernel receives a number of minor updates that have accumulated since 24.1.2 was released. The primary focus for the time being is added fixes and MVC improvements, or the GUI, for upcoming feature backports into the next 24.1.x versions. So this update presents itself as a hotfix 24.1.5 underscore 1, but that's only due to catching an issue during the last cut quality assurance stage with an update of the get text library so here are the full patch notes i'm not going to read through the full patch notes because i've just briefly gone over them um what you say it's fixed php the translation um we've got a couple of os updates for bind and caddy and the new ports that have been updated which i've just mentioned so we're going to go ahead and close that and I'm going to go and click update. So the firewall will reboot after this firmware update. So we're going to go ahead and click OK to that. While we're waiting for these updates, this is a good time to um, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to uh, find more videos. So a critical upgrade is in process, please do not turn off the system. So it's going to install the kernel and the base operating system updates. And now we're just going to do 
a reboot. Rebooted, so I'll log back in. Uh, so, if I expand system information, you can see that we're now on OpenSense 24.1.5 underscore 1 dash AMD 64, which is free BSD 13.2 release P11 on OpenSSL 13. So, we'll do the chapter updates again to see if there's anything left. So there's no updates available. Head back over to the dashboard. So the update went you know, quite easy for me, but I've not got many plugins installed on this, but I do recommend that you upgrade. Um, just while we're here quickly, one thing I want to take a look at, because I'm interested in, is this new wire guard. Pair generator. Now that's pretty cool that they've um, made WireGuard much more easy to configure. Um, so if you're setting up on a mobile device or anything like that, you can literally just scan the QR code. So it's definitely worth updating to this version of OpenSense. To say this was released literally about four hours ago. Um, go ahead, update, enjoy the new WireGuard functionality. If you are looking for IT consultancy, right here www.sheridan.co.uk if you do have any questions um youtube comments are great so feel free to leave any youtube comments that, that you'd like to um if you have specific questions where we need to dive into things then you can have, head over to our forums which are on the screen and ask your questions there and it just makes it a little bit easy to answer i'll see you in the next video